Okay, so we have 2C plus 100 is greater than or equal to 400 because he wants to earn at least $400. So now we just solve it. We solve it however we want to do it, symbolically backtracking, and then it tells us to graph our solution on a number line. So let's change the pen and let's just go through this. So again, solving it, we would subtract 100. But this time it's not 370, it's 400. He wants to earn at least 400. So when we subtract it, we get 300, subtract it, cancels. We're left with 2C must be greater than or equal to 300. So next, we've got to divide by 2 on both sides. 2's cancel. We end up with C is greater than or equal to 150. So before we graph this on a number line, we must answer the question. The question says how many cars must he at least wash? So we need to write a sentence. He must wash at least 150 cars to make to make $400 okay so that's an answer to our question for C we then are told to graph this on a number line so let's do this so if this is our number line and we've got to graph it, we should put 0 and we should put 150. So I'm just putting these little scales. Let me write it 0, 150. Now he must wash at least 150, 150 cars. So C is greater than or equal to 150. So the circle, because it could be equal to 150, must be shaded in. We must shade this circle because it could be equal to. And then we've got to shade to the right because it must be greater than or equal to 150. So that was the first bonus question. Okay, so number 15 is asking us about creating a proportion to show how many hands it takes it takes to make up 126 knuckles. So, you know, depending on what you define as a knuckle, you could say every finger joint. So you could say that on every hand you have 14 knuckles. So let's assume that this is correct. Okay, 14 knuckles. You've got two knuckles on your thumb, and then you've got three knuckles on each of your other fingers. So the first thing that 15 tells us to do is it tells us a, to find a ratio of fingers to knuckles. This is what it wants first of all. So if you look at one hand, and it also says include your thumb. So if you look at one hand, you have five things. So five, four fingers and one thumb, and it tells us to include thumb. So it's five. 2, 14. That's the first thing. Then it says, use a proportion to find how many hands make up 126 knuckles. So we need to look at the ratio of hands to knuckles. So one hand in this case is the same as 14 knuckles. One hand is to 14 knuckles. And if we are told 126 knuckles and we need hands, we need to set up a proportion. So let's do H to knuckles, hands to knuckles, so we know that 1 is to 14. And let this equal the other ratio, which is 126 knuckles, so we'll put that on the bottom. And that's 126. And we are trying to find out how many hands, so let's call that X. So there's a couple of ways to do this. One is to cross multiply. So we can do 14, so let me do the first way. We could do 14 times x, which is 14x, and we could let that equal 1 times 126, which is 126. And we could solve this by dividing by 14 on both sides. So we would end up 
with x equals 9. And our units would be hands. So this is the first way to do it. The second way to do it, which might be a little easier sometimes, is to figure out scaling. So 14 turns into 126, so we can think 126 divided by 14, and that gives us 9. So what we did is we multiplied by 9. So scaling, we just look, this is called scaling. And what we are doing is we're just multiplying. So the same has to happen on top. We need to multiply by 9. So 1 times 9 gives us 9, so our answer is still x equals 9 hands. Okay, so right now we're up to bonus number 2. And in this question, it's asking us to convert between units. So this basically falls under the topic of measurement and also proportions. Um, because it's asking us to convert and it's telling us to use a proportion. So this question tells us that 1.2 million gallons of oil of oil was spilled. And it wants to know how much this is, what's the equivalent in cups. So it wants us to go from gallons to cups. And so one thing that I often refer to is the big G, um, which helps us with this. So if I just bring this up, right behind here you see that we have one gallon, which is the big orange G, has four quarts inside it. And in e inside each quart, there's two pints. And in each pint, there are two cups. So this is really a good thing to try and learn off by heart and to learn how to draw it, um, it really is. So it's important that we know that we start off with a big G, we fill the inside with four quarts, inside each quart there's two pints and so on and it's very difficult for me to write the C's in there right now but you kind of get how this thing is drawn and it's important that we draw it big so we can make it nice and clear. So we know by looking at this thing, and maybe by remembering it, that there are 16 cups inside of one gallon. So therefore, we can use the first ratio as 1, which is our gallon, and 16, which is our cups. So this gives us our first ratio as part of this. So gallons to cups, one to 16. And so to make the proportion, we need to let this equal 1.2 million gallons. So 1.2 million is really one comma two hundred comma zero 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 thousand. That is 1.2 million gallons. And we need to know cups so we can just turn this into a variable. So in order to find x, just like the earlier question, there's a couple of things we can do. We can cross multiply. So we do 1 times x equals 16 times 1,200,000. Or we can just use scaling. So either way, we're going to get the same answer. So scaling, we know that to get from 1 to 1.2 million, we're in fact timesing by 1,200,000. So that's scaled up quite a lot. And so we need to do the same on the bottom. So we would also times by 1,200,000. And that would give us x. So if we do that, um, I'm going to just do it on a calculator. So we have 1,200,000 thousand and we are timesing by 16. So this gives us an answer. It's a very big answer because there's several cups inside of a gallon, 16. So our answer is 192000192000 and then three zeros. One, two, three. So some commas in there. So basically, 